Hello! Today we are going to learn about how to program this we LEGO WeDo 2.0 with the Scratch 3.0, the new version. Let's start. First, we need to download the WeDo extension. It's all the way down here. But now, before we begin searching for our WeDo and pairing it, we need to go to this help section. This leads us to a link here, which will lead us to a zip download. You should click direct download, I advise. You can see here, this is our zip file. Let's show in folder so we know where it is. It's down here. Okay, now we'll double click it. Now it's open. We double click it again. Now it will start installing. Click yes to um, the changes in the device section, and then as you can see, it's finished. It does this really quickly. Now, Scratch Link is installed. Now, how to run it? In the taskbar, we just write Scratch Link. And as you can see, it's done. We wait a moment for it to start. And then you check if it's open over here. As you can see, Scratch Link is open. That's great. Now, to minimize this and to go back here. Now, we will go and we will open the WeDo 2.0. As you can see, it started flashing. So now we say start searching. It started connecting. And now, as you can see, it's connected. It has a blue light on. Now, we click go to editor. Woohoo! We have done it. We have paired successfully to our WeDo. Now, time to start. Let's go to the events and controls sections. First we go to events over here. When the flag clicked, this is when this is flag is green flag is clicked. Then we will go to the we do 2.0 section and we will uh, try to make it work. Set motor direction this way. But if you want to set how much power the motor is using, you can do this. It can conserve power as well. But right now we're just going to do this. We're going to, it's going to make it go backwards. So let's see it. Am I correct? Yay! It's moving backwards. Now let's go to that way. That's the opposite way and it will just go forwards instead. But it never stops. We are going to try reverse. It's the same as this way, so should reverse as well. So reverse it reverse, but uh, if it matters where you put your motor inside your design, that's when if you put it in a different direction, it might go forwards when you do reverse, and it might go backwards when you do forwards. So it depends on that as well. Now we are going to make it have the ability to stop on command. We first go to the events. One space click. So this is when our space key will be clicked. Then we'll go to we do 2.0 section and we'll go and click the turn motor off. But as you can see, it is it is working. And as I as soon as I click the space, it stops. But the only problem is that it just does a little bit of batting. It can't start again properly unless you click this. So we must keep the motor on. It may work without this, but in later it will not work without this. As you can see, when you do this, take out this event and instead put another space event but instead of space key we're going to put a different key this time we're going to put 
up arrow and space let's start it so right now it's going in reverse I forgot to make it into that way again but now it should work again as you can see it's working and as soon as I click space it works and it stops it now as an example of the turn motor on and off we're gonna take this out now let's try up arrow again it now will not work after this up arrow click and it doesn't work it might sometimes work without it like if I keep on clicking it like that but it doesn't it's not very efficient now let's move it back to its place reverse up and space woohoo we got our car working it doesn't have the ability to turn so we can't use that but if you have two motors of the video and you can put that in a car then you can use different types of things like for example set the motor direction to this way and that way instead of putting like that at the very beginning you can put motor a and b so motor a you can say it's moving counterclockwise and you can say motor b is moving clockwise this way it will do a tank like effect and will move it around clockwise and anti-clockwise so that's great we'll put this back on just for a bugger and now we want to make it go backwards up arrow now down arrow just do this this turn motor on we have to keep it on otherwise it will not work just to remember and you put this and now you will set it to be reverse and this to be that way now let's try it out forward backward and space woohoo we've got our car fully operational okay now bye but before we go I want to tell you that the next tutorial will be about the EV3. Okay, now see you until then. Bye!